Hello, I'm Zardis. Grab some coffee, sit back, and chill as I teach you about the mod Better Bulldozer. Now, this is a really great mod for detailing. I'm showing it to you today all by itself. It would be more useful with some other mods like Anarchy and stuff like that, but it is really good standalone as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the options that are in the mod itself. Better Bulldozer. So, Allow removing sub element networks that would allow you to remove uh, like paths and things from the asset itself. I don't have it checked because I don't want to do that because it could break the connectivity of the asset and I don't want to run that risk. If there is a building that I really want to remove it from, I can always come in here and check that and then go in and delete it. The same thing with allowing removing extensions. Extensions are parts of the building that are inside the building that can uh, impact the way the asset works. And if you remove them, you are changing the building itself and that could uh, impact some of how it works. So I don't want to do that most of the time. Automatically remove manicured grass. This is an option for people who want to build all of the surfaces themselves. And so they don't want the game to automatically decide what surface to put on there for the grass asset or for the grass surface is the the word there and i'm not going to do that i want to go in piecemeal when i want to change something then you can click to remove any owned grass surfaces which would mean that if i click this it would remove all of the grass that is already in the game on any asset that is here and I don't want to do that so of course I'm not going to click it. Automatically remove fences and hedges. If you want to go in and you want to build a fence for every building that is going to get a fence or if you want to build a hedge for every building that is going to have a hedge this is the option for you. You want to click this and then every time a building grows or spawns you have the control or if you plop it with plop the growables you have the control to go in and build the fences where you want them and how you want them. Then here you can click restore fences. It would restore the ones that came with the buildings. Automatically remove branding objects. If you don't like the game picking what brand is on a building and you always want to go in and place those yourself, then this is the option for you as well because that will allow you to have really uh, in-depth capability when it comes to detailing. You can click here to restore the branding objects as well. Down here, you can reset the settings to the default for the game, which is to or for the mod. I mean, for which would be to have these two checked, I believe. And you can click this when you want to safely remove the mod, and it will remove, well, like it will restore anything that was uh, removed previously. Then we can go back and let's see the mod in action so it extends your existing bulldozer so when you click on it you see you've got all these different options i like to go right down to the tool mode here and we're going to click on uh, the remove sub elements so with that we can come in here and we can bulldoze say this fence that is now gone to that space we can take it out over there and the corner as well we could take out these trees and put in our own trees for this uh, asset then we could come in here and we could oh the other thing i want to talk about here is you can also go to a tier and then if there is a sub building for the asset like over here we have this building here and this is a sub building so I can come in and I can remove the sub elements from the sub building. If I have this tier set to the main asset, I can't remove those. And likewise on the main asset, right now I can remove them here, but if I have the sub element uh, button clicked, I can't remove them there. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Then we can go here to tool mode of remove uh, objects and sims and that allows you to come in and delete cars or other objects so like the sim you are come on come on you are now deleted oh and this one who's walking in the ground that would be a good candidate to delete so that is how that works then this button will remove the prompt to make sure you want to delete a building so like if we don't have that and we click here, it will ask me, do you want to delete this building? I say no. 
we have that, it automatically deletes it. And now it is all gone. Remove net lanes, that is the option I talked about. You can see in this parking lot, there's a whole bunch of net lanes. I can't click on them because I have them there. And I think the same thing with uh, paths and things. Or here we have, this is called uh, remove markers. That would be where things can go in the building. So like these are the net lanes and then somewhere inside are some of the markers. I don't want to remove those. So yeah, like static objects. Yeah, I don't want to do that. But the one I find the most useful is the surface. So I'm going to find park really quick, like here. And I'm going to take out all of the manicured grass. And now it looks like that is part of the same here. And you could also, you could remove that. And then if you have um, anarchy, then you can go in and you can place things on the asset itself and really modify that a lot. Although surfaces, I believe we can come in here. Yep. And we could get our own surfaces and say we want this to come out like that and be manicured out here. We can get it in here. Now that's overlapping, so it's going to be mad at me because it is overlapping a different surface. But you get the idea. You could come in here and do that. It doesn't work because we have other things. But yeah, you you understand. And so that is the things you can do with Better Bulldozer. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, be sure to click on the video on the screen. It will take you to the uh, my Beginner's Guide series, which will have many more tips for you as you are learning City Skylines 2. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Take care.